Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video about all of my ride or die hair care products that I absolutely cannot live without. I thought this video would be really appropriate especially this time of year for those of you who are planning on buying presents or gifts for yourselves or loved ones that are hair related. I'm going to be showing you all of my favorites because a lot of these are really appropriate for gift giving. So if you're interested in seeing what my favorite hair care products are of the year and in general that I cannot live without, then please keep watching. All right, so the first product I have to mention is of course going to be a shameless mention of my own hair extension brand. These are fancy hair extensions. Now, typically they come in this really beautiful white box, but I left them out this time because I put waves in them the other day and I wanted them to keep their shape. So I personally mix two shades. I mix the mocha brown shade and the milk chocolate brown shade because as you can see I have a darker coloring underneath and some more balayage highlights on top so I like to keep more of the mocha brown wefts closer to the nape of my neck and then as I go higher up along my crown I like to clip in more of the milk chocolate brown to mimic the same coloring that I have and that really gives me a beautiful highlighted effect these are 100% Remy human hair they are absolutely gorgeous you can wear them in down do's and up do's ponytails top knots whatever you want they're so versatile and the fact that they are clip and hair extensions means that you can take them out and put them in whenever you want. They won't damage your hair and they last such a long time. I can't do a favorite hair care product video without mentioning my fancy hair extensions because of course I am absolutely obsessed with them. Otherwise, I wouldn't make them. So the next product I want to talk about is the T3 Whirl Trio Curling Wand. So this comes in a set that has three barrels. So it has this one inch straight barrel, it has this tapered barrel, and it also has this larger, I think this is a one and a half or two inch straight barrel. So the one that I use the most is this one right here, the one inch straight barrel, because I feel like it keeps the shape of my waves much, much longer. You can curl your hair with this. You can wave your hair like this depending on how long you leave your hair on the iron for and also the size of the sections that you are curling around the barrel. I love that this heats up super, super fast. It keeps my hair styled for a really long time and it's so lightweight, so it's perfect for traveling. So if you're looking for a really, really amazing curling iron or curling iron set this season, I'd highly recommend the T3 Whirl Trio. By the way, guys, everything that I'm gonna be talking about in today's a video will be linked in the description box down below. The next hair care product I absolutely cannot live without is my Croc Premium Infrared Flat Iron. Now, I have been using this probably for five or six years now. I had the generation before this and this one I recently got sent about eight months ago from Croc. I do have a coupon code with Croc. I think it's Nikki20, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's in my description box. So if you are interested in getting a little bit of a discount on the Croc website, definitely feel free to check that out. This is hands down the best flat iron I have ever used on my hair. It straightens my hair in one single pass. I don't go above 290 degrees degrees Fahrenheit so I don't have to use such a very high heat on it and it has infrared technology so it doesn't damage your hair as much of course I always use a heat protectant before using any type of heat styling tools I have literally converted so many of my friends and family to using this flat iron because it is that good. Talking about heat protectants, my favorite heat protectant that I've been using probably for about a year and a half at least, if not more, is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdressers Invisible Oil. This is already my second bottle. One bottle will probably take you a year to get through. I love this stuff. I use it on my hair before I heat style my hair and you can also use it as a finishing serum after you heat style your hair. There is another product that I want to talk about that I like to use as a finishing serum. Although this one is really, really good, I like the other one as a finishing serum a little bit better, but this is my ride or die heat protectant. It is so good. It doesn't leave a weird residue on your hair. It doesn't leave your hair super oily or greasy. Again, a little bit goes a long way. I start at the ends of my hair, make sure I really saturate the ends of my hair, and then anything that's left over, I just rush through the top just to make sure that everything is coated, especially the ends. Now, if you've been watching me for a while now, you know that I don't use regular conditioners. I only use shampoo shampoos and deep conditioners. 
I skip the whole step of conditioning your hair because I feel like if I'm using a deep conditioner, there's no sense in me doing a third step and using conditioner as well. So I always shampoo my scalp and I apply a deep con conditioner to the rest of my hair. And the deep conditioner that I'm absolutely in love with, I'm telling you guys, I've tried so many and I always, always, always go back to this one. It's the Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask. It looks like this. You can buy it at Sephora. It is absolutely amazing. I love that this brand has no parabens, no phthalates, no sulfates, no silicones, and none of that nasty stuff that's going to dry out your hair and damage it. It smells absolutely amazing. I'm completely out of it. As you can see, I have to buy another one, but I swear by it. It is so, so nice. It will leave your hair so silky, soft and smooth and shiny and you really can't go wrong with it. So sticking with the whole Briogeo family, I recently discovered this new shampoo by Briogeo. I believe this is a new launch. It is called the Briogeo Scalp Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. It looks like this. It has a grayish tint to it because it does have charcoal in it and it has kind of a vanilla mint scent to it. That's how I would describe it. And when you put it in your fingers, it has a gritty texture to it, which is very interesting and weird at the same time to apply to your scalp. You would think that the, that the grittiness will go right away as soon as you lather it up, but the grittiness remains until you wash it out with water. As soon as you wash it out with water, all the grittiness is 100% gone, so you don't need to worry about little chunks being left over in your hair. But the reason why I swear by this shampoo is because if you suffer from dry scalp and dry skin like I do and always have those nasty flakes in your hair, this stuff will get rid of of it like a freaking dream. It exfoliates your scalp. It gets rid of all of those dry flakes. It balances out the pH of your scalp. So it prevents dryness from coming back. I really feel like it gives my scalp a really nice, deep clean. So I like to use this about once a week or once every other week. And in between, I like using a more moisturizing shampoo. And I feel like the combination of those two is has just been perfection. The next product I wanna talk about is something that I didn't think I would like but it's something I actually cannot live without. I use it at least once a week every time I style my hair and it is this Indian Hemp and Tamanu Grow and Strengthen Edge Taming Taffy by Nubian Heritage. You can buy this off of iHerb. I have no idea how long I'm gonna have this jar for because I barely made a dent in it. I've been using it probably for almost two years. You need the tiniest, tiniest amount of this stuff. It is so effective and it doesn't make your hair feel stiff or anything basically all i do is i put it in between my fingers and i use it to slick down those little baby hairs around my crown around my parting and around my face and it just keeps everything nice and slicked down without making it stiff or hard this also has a lot of ingredients in it that makes your hair stronger and facilitates hair growth and prevents breakage which is awesome it has such good ingredients in it it's free of all of those nasty chemicals it has shea butter in it coconut oil olive fruit oil and all of these amazing other oils including aloe vera extract which if you've been watching me for a while, you know how much I love aloe vera. So this is an incredible product, super, super affordable. A little bit goes a long way and it will last you a lifetime. I'm not even exaggerating. Okay, so as you probably heard me mention many, many, many times, I am a very dry haired girl. So I never thought that I would use a traditional dry shampoo because my hair like never gets greasy, but I do love oiling my hair. And on occasion, sometimes I don't, wash out all of the oil from my hair and after I get out of the shower sometimes I'll have a little bit of leftover oil residue left in my hair that I wasn't able to get out in the shower so if that happens I go in with this dry shampoo this is honestly the best dry shampoo I've ever used I would compare it to the Elizabeth and James dry shampoos though I used to use the white one it's called Nirvana I believe the scent actually is very very similar to Nirvana I believe so this is the collab dry shampoo shampoo in the scent London. So this is the classic one. They have a bunch of different scents like Paris and Tokyo. My favorite is London. And I'm also not sure if they all perform the same because this is the only one that I've actually used on my hair. I've smelt the other ones in store, but I haven't sprayed them on my hair. This leaves no white cast on my hair, especially if you shake it before and spray it from afar. If you spray it too close, you will get a white cast, but you can easily brush it out with your fingers or with your hairbrush. And there's not going to be any evidence that you 
use this on your hair at all. It's super affordable. I picked this up at Walmart. It doesn't make your hair feel hard or sticky or anything like that. It's not a texturizer. It's just a straight up dry shampoo that soaks up any excess oil and leaves your hair really soft and manageable and smelling amazing. The next product I want to talk about, I've literally had in my collection for three years. I want to say, and I still have about a quarter of the bottle left. So this is the Earth's Nectar Mint Leaves Scalp Oil. It's a scalp moisturizer for normal and dry scalp. So I like to put this on my scalp after I get out of the shower. I kind of just like really massage it in. It has mint oil and rosemary oil in it. Rosemary is amazing for stimulating your scalp and hair growth. It also balances the pH levels on your scalp. So if you tend to produce too much oil or not enough, enough oil it's gonna help balance that out for you I bought this on Sephora I should probably get a new one now that I'm thinking of it there's probably some kind of an expiration date on this because it's all like natural ingredients and I've had it for three years as I've said but I swear by this a little bit goes a long way I just spray a little bit of it onto my fingertips and then massage it into my scalp it feels so nice and refreshing it smells very very minty and it has a little bit of a rosemary overtone so if you are very sensitive to rosemary because rosemary is a very strong scent I would recommend trying a little bit of it first before buying the Whole bottle but I feel like it really nourishes and moisturizes my scalp and prevents it from flaking as much so when I was talking about the bumble and bumble hair dressers invisible oil I mentioned that I like to use a different oil as a finishing serum even though this one is amazing and that oil is this one this is the way hair oil this is already my second bottle as you can see I love this stuff a lot so the reason why I like this one as a finishing serum or oil as opposed to this one is because this one is a little bit thicker and I feel like when I use it as a heat protectant and as a finishing serum, it kind of weighs down my hair and leaves a little bit of an oily residue to it. Whereas this one is so much lighter. And as you can see, it's like a lot more liquidy and you only need one pump for all of your hair. If your hair is like similar in thickness and length to mine, it smells amazing and it leaves my hair so silky and soft and shiny. And I just love this stuff. I can't say enough good things about this hair oil. The next product that I cannot live without and that is a very, very important part of my hair care routine is hydrolyzed collagen. Unfortunately, I don't have an example to show you right now because I just finished my pack yesterday and stupid me, I threw out the packaging because I completely forgot that I was going to be filming this video today. So... I will insert a photo of what the hydrolyzed collagen looks like right over here so that you can see what I'm talking about. A lot of different brands make different types of hydrolyzed collagen. I would recommend looking for one that is GMO free, that is organic. There's also different sources that you can get hydrolyzed collagen. You can get it from beef, you can get it from fish. I can literally do an entire video talking about hydrolyzed collagen and the differences between them. So instead of getting into too much detail I would recommend just sitting down and googling it and doing your own research figuring out the different types of hydrolyzed collagen and which ones are the best for you my personal preferred way of taking it is in powder form I just take a scoop or a packet whatever you know the packaging tends to come in I usually get a tub or like a bag of it and I use a little scoop I put it in my water and I drink it with one liter of water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach because that way it absorbs the best and I drink that once a day it's amazing for your hair, your skin, your nails, your joints, your bones, and all of your other connective tissues in your body. I definitely notice that my hair is a lot stronger after using it, so that's why I would highly recommend trying it out. There's another supplement that I use on and off whenever I feel like I need it in order to maintain the health of my hair, and that is a biotin. I use different brands all the time, but whenever looking for a really high quality brand of biotin, I make sure that it is GMO free. This one is GMO free. Um, ideally, I like to find one that is organic, but for some reason in a lot of health food stores in Canada, it's really hard to find a really high quality organic biotin supplement. I have bought a really good one by the brand Future Biotics on iHerb. I actually prefer that one over this, so I'm probably going to link that one in my description box if I remember. Nikki, note to self, make sure you include Future Biotic in the description box. Thank you so much. So this one is by the brand Naka. If you guys do live in Canada or in Ontario, I'm not sure what it's like 
outside of Ontario, but I'm talking about all of the health food stores in my area, like within the vicinity of the greater Toronto area. I haven't been able to find the Future Biotics one. I The best one I've been able to find is Naka. So if you are in the GTA, check out Naka. It's a great one. If you want to order off of iHerb, I'd recommend Future Biotics. So basically biotin is a B vitamin. It is one of the essential nutrients that we need as part of our diet. And if you take a decent amount of it, it helps with hair growth and nail growth. Now I would be really careful with this. I would start with a very, very low dose and gradually increase your dose just because I have heard that some people tend to break out from biotin. If you do break out from biotin, I would A, increase your water intake that will help dramatically and also wait it out. Once you take it on a consistent basis for a couple of weeks, your body will get used to it and you shouldn't be breaking out anymore. So biotin has definitely been my ride or die in my hair care routine. Okay, I have one more supplement that I wanna mention. It's not really a supplement, but it does have a nutrient in it that is really important for maintaining healthy hair and skin and nails. Most of these things that I'm talking about, like supplement wise, will also benefit your skin and nails. So that's just the cherry on top of the sundae. But this product that I'm gonna be talking about is bamboo tea. So bamboo, as some of you may know, is a plant. This is beautifully bamboo, natural bamboo tea. I have tried so many different bamboo teas and this one is by far my favorite. It has a very, uh, it's really hard to explain, kind of like a nutty flavor to it. At least this one does. The other ones I've tried, I really didn't like. It's kind of like a more subtle green tea with a hint of nuttiness to it. So the reason why I love bamboo tea is because it is the highest source of silica and silica is a very, very important nutrient that we need to maintain uh, healthy connective tissues and also stimulate hair growth and make sure that your skin is producing collagen and all of that amazing good stuff. This is really, really yummy. I actually enjoy drinking this tea. I haven't been drinking it for the last couple months because I don't like using so many things at the same time. So if I'm not using the biotin, I'll drink the tea. If I'm not drinking the tea, I'll take the biotin. So this I actually bought off of Amazon. They're super, super affordable. I'm pretty sure there's 30 tea bags in one um, sachet. I'm not 100% sure, but again, everything will be linked down below. All right, next up, I want to talk about my brush, my wet brush, which is absolutely disgusting right now and really embarrassing to show. But this is what the handle looks like. You guys have probably seen um, this logo before. I bought this off of Amazon. This is the only brush that I will use on my hair. It's amazing on your hair. If your hair is wet or dry, I do not recommend brushing your hair when it is 100% wet, like soaking wet right after the shower because that is when your hair is the most vulnerable. But once your hair air dries a little bit, you can definitely go in with a brush like this and gently start brushing it out at the ends and gradually move your way up towards the top of your head. I don't know what it is about these bristles, but I have used literally like a hundred or if not more brushes in my lifetime. And this one is by far my favorite. The next products I want to talk about is by the brand Aqueous. These are available on Sephora now. I got these about two years ago. The brand actually sent them to me. I was not paid to talk about them. They simply sent them to me to ask me my opinion because I am in the space of hair care and whatnot. Um, and they really valued my opinion. And this was before they launched in Sephora. And I have been using them ever since. This is the only thing I use to dry my hair now after I get out of the shower. Before this, I used to use old t-shirts. So this is a hair turban. You put your head in here, gather your hair in here, twist this, and this little tie clips onto this button here. And it allows you to go about your day without having your soaking wet hair being down your back or over your shoulders. And it helps your hair dry so much faster and it's totally safe for your hair. It's made out of the special microfiber material. It's super soft and gentle. And then they also sent me this hair towel, which is great. This is what I use to dry my hair with every time I come out of the shower. So these two have been complete game changers for me in the way that I dry my hair. And I think that this duo is just such a beautiful gift for Christmas for any hair lover. And they will definitely
definitely, definitely enjoy it. And the last products that I want to talk about are for my brunette girls. There is a version of this system for blondes and reds, I believe, but this one specifically is for brunettes. If you guys don't know, brunettes correction natural brunettes tend to have a lot of natural red undertones in their hair so if you dye your hair you'll tend to see some orangey red tones come through your hair so to keep my hair looking fresh and more golden i use this system here about once a month this is by pravana i've raved about pravana so many times on my channel already this is the perfect brunette brunette toning system so this is the shampoo and this is the mask there is also a conditioner but i don't use that one as i've already mentioned i I only use deep conditioning masks. I use this about once a month when I feel like my hair needs a refresher. I'll apply the shampoo to my scalp and then I will apply the mask to the rest of my hair, leave it in for a few minutes. The instructions are right on the back and then I wash it out with water. And I also love that these products are made with amazing ingredients. They're 100% vegan, gluten-free, no sulfates, no phthalates, salt-free and paraben-free. So these have been absolutely amazing and highly recommend them especially if you tend to color your hair and do check out their other lines or other system for blondes and redheads as well because the blue one oh yeah it's blue see the blue one is for brunettes all right guys so i think that i covered pretty much everything that i am a ride or die for in terms of my hair care routine and that i can't live without a lot of you guys have been asking me what i have been doing to my hair or what products i recommend because you've noticed that my hair has been looking really healthy and nice recently so that is a rundown that is what i've been loving for a long long time some of these things for years so i highly recommend them and i'm very confident that you're gonna enjoy them as well so if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a big thumbs up if you're new to my channel please be sure to subscribe i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me i want to wish you happy holidays and hopefully i will see you guys again before the new year ah <laughs> oh that hurt and they just bleh. about the so and bumble okay so when i was talking about the hairdresser uh <gasps> important nutrient you've noticed that my hair has been looking the hell was that